Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, July 6th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat, which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room? I've got that full screen on my screen. It's over there on a monitor where we can oh, see it. Oh, hey, look at that. That's the chat room. Hey, yep. you see that. <laughs> what else you got, Ange? Uh, it is in the best lower third on the internet. Oh, right there. Just a lower third contained over the jblive.tv chat room. That's what you're telling me? Yep. Oh, well, thank you, everybody at the jblive.tv chat room who have joined us on this Sunday just after the Linux Action Show to have a little faux show. And this is one of my favorite faux shows. It is the Summer mm-hmm. Project Awards where we get to see what you guys are up to, bum, 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 the side projects. And there's always some fun submissions. Now, not everybody always gets all of their stuff in. But the ones we do get to see are pretty cool. Look at all those lower thirds. <laughs> That's the best chat room everybody, ever. Everybody hollering out for the lower third. That is the best chat room ever. It is. So this isn't our first Summer Projects Award show. No. This is like at least the second one, right? Oh, I think it's like the third, fourth, or fifth one. Girl. Shoot. Because I did Winter Projects one time. Right. So this is the this is the yeah. Summer 2014 edition. Yeah. And we get to see what your fellow Jupiter Broadcasting Colony members are up to. And you guys will not believe some of the creative stuff that's going on. All like, right, Andrews. Should we start? Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. I'm, I'm excited. All right. Okay, who's our first award go to? The first award goes to C. Patrick 08. Hitting the books. He'll be hitting the books. Going he to college. He is college bound, going to get his uh, bachelor's degree. I think the same one as me, uh, uh, da, 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 operations management, yeah, huh. business administration. Well, that's a hell of a project. Yeah. Oh, I bet but it's cool people. because you can go like pretty much anywhere with it, which is good. Mm-hmm. Good for him. Yeah. Uh, next one goes to Alex. He's a do-it-yourselfer. Show me. Of like every variety. Oh, wait, oh. no. This is a different one. It's <laughs> a nice kidding. setup. But I see a little Linux action show happening there. So here was his desk, which it's an interesting desk. Yeah, it works. He decided to start- Is that a big start... thing, a lube or booze? That's it's a booze. speaker. Oh, that's a speaker? That thing with the with yeah. the lid on top? Next it's to not the a lid. It's like, it's like a camera lens on a speaker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at it from over here. So anyway- it Looks like booze to me. <laughs> uh, he started researching- um, how to make a steel pipe desk. What? So he's got, I know, right? Like, it's all like Mario and Luigi-like. It's like... Unbelievable. Yeah. So this is his new setup. That which is Which unfortunately nice. does not include Linux Action Show on his monitor. <laughs> can he come build some desks for us? That's awesome. But yeah. And uh, yeah, let's see. I don't have... You can go to his blog, blog.ktz.me forward slash question mark P equal 446. And he has the schematics and everything. Uh, like, a, I think he has a step-by-step So even. he open sources desk. Yeah. It's a cool desk, though, too. I really like it. Yeah. It's yeah. a... It's a he's Looks got good. Built-in monitor stand. I like stand the wood choice, and, too. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Very All right, nice. Andrews, next award goes to... The Mad Mechanic. What? He gets the Decision Dilemma. Now, I personally know exactly what you're going through. All right. Tell me about it. Here's what he said. A year or so ago, I decided to work on building a website and a, commu- uh, and a community for industrial mechanics, which is really awesome. And those interested in pursuing that career. I've been in, uh, in industrial mechanics for six years and was a mechanic in the military for six more years before that. I worked on my site for a long time until life took some unexpected turns and it was no longer practical to spend time on it. Mm. After a few months, I started working on it. But over that time, some things happened and my WordPress install and the databases associated with it went to crap and my oh, backups were gone. That sucks. I decided to start from scratch and do things differently. This time I'd build everything by hand. Genie IDE, HTML5, CSS3, a pinch of JavaScript, and Git for source control, and that's it. A pinch of JavaScript? I'm sure it's more than a pinch. Wow. Um, I got the site live and posted the first few posts, and life slammed me again. So now I'm trying to decide, do I ramp up work on the site and just make myself dedicate the required time, or do I let it die and focus on other things? It's a hard call because I do enjoy it, but I've got a wife and two kids, and I work 60 to 72 hours a week already. Don't you? Yeah. I know. Don't you? But don't you feel it's also not like a all or nothing? Um, like just put it on the shelf for now. Right. Yeah. Well, and that, I mean that's what he ends up doing. I mean, okay. obviously he knows how to Good. do that. Good man. It's um. This is really cool, and I love the idea of like, man, none of these things are working for me, so I've got to build something for myself. You can respect that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he said he does have some ideas. Um, a school where you can learn any information needed to do the job, including tests, which would help you prepare for applying for this type of work. A biweekly podcast on topics related to the profession, and a big weekly comic strip like XKCD or yeah. questionable content pearls. 
before swine, um, <laughs> about the humorous misadventures in this profession, profession, which would be awesome. Yeah. I think that would be, I think that would be a huge hit. Um, anyhow, what are your thoughts on this? Feedback would be great as I feel like I am thinking through sure. this in a vacuum. Well, what do you think? Well, I have momvault.com, which I maintained up until I got my job, which, yep, there's the job reference for this episode. Hey-oh. And uh, and I have not, uh, no, maybe I did get back to it a couple posts, and then I ran into the same thing. Like, I even, I built up content so that I could, you know, smooth, smoothly go back into it and not have to worry. I even simplified the format of the blog posts so that I wouldn't have to do um, custom HTML uh, Yeah, just to summaries. make it easier so there's less yeah. barriers to write. But I, yeah, but I still haven't been able to get back to it. So I don't know. I just say if you do have the website up, put on your um, about part that you're busy and that when you can post stuff, you will. And Yeah, and I, I guess what I, here's how I see this kind of stuff is if you recognize this is something that you drive enjoyment from, it's fulfilling to you for a certain reason. And it's timeless too, like for the most part, which m- mother stuff is. And I ma- imagine industrial mechanics right. don't change too frequently. Right. I have to believe that you need to allow yourself the ability to just step away and not worry about it because it has to remain a passion project for you because that's why it works. It has to be something that you have the energy and time for. And sometimes, especially when you have kids, that just, you have to put that stuff on the shelf. Now, here's what I have noticed is when there's things you want to do that you can't get to, if you put them on the shelf and life allows for you time to get to it, when you, when you do start back up on it, you start with a whole new level of inspiration and vigor because it's like, I've been waiting to do this, and now I have gotten my moment, and I'm going to seize the moment and get it done. And it's almost like you can double down. And sometimes the greater the task, the longer the wait where it has to sit on the shelf. But it doesn't matter. This isn't how you're making your living. This is how you're deriving a, a, a sense of enjoyment. And this is that's what's important. It doesn't matter if it's mom vault. It doesn't matter what it is. It, that same thing applies. It could be photography, if you think mm-hmm. about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kai P has offered to um, give you give you a hand in setting up a Drupal CMS. Oh, there you go. That so, g- just get the work taken care of right there. Yeah. So uh, if you know Kai P, uh, which you can find him in the subreddit or at the Linux Action Show subreddit or in the chat room. <laughs> yep. All right, Andrews, we got another award to give away? The next award goes to Exa Piper. <laughs> I love that name. He has an awesome talent. An awesome talent. He's huh? probably out playing in the street right now. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh, right. <laughs> that Exa Piper. <laughs> yes. So, uh. Oh, wait a minute. Are you. Sh- Hold on. What? What? Hold on. <laughs> Are you telling me? What? Are you telling me that the bagpipes that we hear on Thursdays during TechSnap is actually a <laughs> Jupiter Broadcasting audience member playing them? It must be, yes. That is hilarious. <laughs> Mind okay. Okay. blown. Okay. He'll have to, if he's if All he's right. present, he'll have to speak okay. up and is confirm Rikai, that. Rikai, Rikai, are you watching? Rikai, do you hear this? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Um, on uh, At least on Thursdays, or some usually, uh, I'll be wrapping up a show, and there is... A lot of bagpipe music playing. And if you guys are familiar with bagpipes, they are loud. And the dude is walking around out in the front, out in the street, playing bagpipes. And it shows up on mic. And I've gone from annoyed to absolutely loving it that it's a Ah! Jupiter Broadcasting uh, (laughs) audience member. How? What are the chances that the bagpipes being played out in the street while I'm trying to record a show, I'm actually being trolled by somebody who watches Jupiter Broadcasting content? <laughs> okay, well, so he says... Look at Rikai. Can you believe that, yeah, Rikai? Yep. <laughs> Uh, he said, I'm going to drop some pics here in here of bagpipes. I am a member of the best GR4 pipe band in the Northwest, Keith Highlander's pipe band. Um, we are a very competitive band, and each summer we are very busy with Highland games all over Washington and state and Canada and Oregon. And uh, and then he lists where he's playing. So like uh, he'll be in Mount Vernon if Matt wants to go. Well, see I've him. noticed he's been getting better. <laughs> so it's good. Um, each of these uh, games, the band will be competing, and I will be competing solos as well. So his project is to actually move up to grade three solo competitions by next year by doing well this year in grade four. I'll toss some pics of my pipes and links to some YouTubes and videos of me competing in the past and also some band videos randomly. These pics are assembled uh, and taken apart to... uh, to see some internals, which I only posted one picture of the backpack. Even though he disassembled the whole thing to show you. I know. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so he had a couple of... But she has those for her personal collection. Videos there. Yeah. <laughs> videos there at the bottom if you want to check them out. So, 
Wow, I am blown away. And if you've watched TechSnap Live, you know that sometimes there's bagpipes to play in. And I've even like put them on the stream before. That's funny. Yeah. That is funny. Yeah. We should have them in studio. Well, that means there's a few Jupiter Broadcasting audience members just like within a couple of houses of the oh, studio. Oh, no, that's the same guy. No, it's kids. not. I don't think so. Yes, oh, really? Oh, yeah. oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes a, Okay, that makes more sense because, yeah. yeah, boy. Boy, it is hot in here. I know. It is getting It is really like 90 hot. degrees. Like, I think we might need to stop so I can powder my face. And humid. And humid. It is hot and humid. Okay. All right, let's get so, to the next award, and if we got to stop for a powder break, we can. Next award goes to? Next award goes to Vihi underscore MV. I'm sorry, what? I'm not sure the best way to say that. So, oh, you he, want me to get it? I'll tell you. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, gets the Cherry Pie Award. Now, for those of you that watch Psych, you know that oh, <laughs> <laughs> Gus and Sean, well, Gus, has a car called the Blueberry. And um, in like season six, he has a red car that they call Cranberry, uh, but it, it lasts about five seconds before it's blown up. Anyway, so I named this his car, Cherry, wow. cherry Pie. Okay, Cherry Pie. So he has a Raspberry Pi powered BMW toy car. Love it already. Yep. So he says, at first, I was not sure if I wanted to participate in this award show. Then when you said you had only one submission, I got scared that the show would be canceled. That would be a real shame because I really want to see what other people are working on and maybe get some cool ideas. So here we are, which thank you for submitting because this is an epic submission. Like, how could you not? How could you keep this away from us? Wow. Like he wasn't considering doing this at first? Yeah. This is so right up our alley. It's ridiculous. I know. <laughs> so he says, for a long time, I had a BMW toy car with a broken RC remote, sadly collecting dust. So I decided to put my <laughs> Raspberry Pi to use Love it. and put new life in the BMW. The project is still in the beginning phase. What he's done so far, he's integrated Raspberry Pi with Wi-Fi dongle and battery into the car. He added some LED lights and he wrote a simple Python remote remote control app. At this point, the car is functional. If you want to drive it, you have uh, you have to connect to it via VNC sure, okay. and use the buttons on the remote control app or keyboard arrow buttons for driving. Um, his goal is to make it a fully automated vehicle that can drive by itself and, uh, and avoid obstacles. You know, I don't I don't hate the idea of controlling my car stereo through my phone because mm -hmm. I already w listen to all my podcasts that way. Mm -hmm. So if I was playing... Yeah, actually, that makes total sense. Yeah. That's no problem at all. So what he wants to do is add a webcam that will be mounted on the driver's seat, add an ultrasonic distance sensor for automated driving, and create a web app from a remote control. Here are some additional pictures, including the uh, BMW X5 remote control, and then um, the before he put the uh, Raspberry wow. Pi in there, and then okay. after it's in there. Hold on, stop. What? He needs to come on Linux Action Show and do a how-to segment on this. This is too... I'm assuming this is powered by Linux, right? Uh, you know, I was going to say that it was, but I I'm don't not sure. know for Maybe sure. Not. He needs to come on the show and do a how-to segment. But he did say, P.S., I really like how-to Linux show. I think it's going to be great help for some uh, people that want to migrate to Linux, some sort of training wheel yeah. so you feel safe and comfortable switching to. This would be... I was thinking about doing like um, uh, audience uh, how-to segments where they would basically give me... We would do like... A, it wouldn't be WebEx, but it would be WebRTC or something like that where we'd have like a screen share. You could show us some of your stuff and you would Skype in and talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, uh, that would be perfect. That's exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. So, yeah. well, and I love, I love that he put lights in the in the headlights. Yes, it's great. That is so so cool. awesome submission. Thank you so much. Yeah, very nice one. All right, Andrew. Yeah. Next award goes to Tomo 2000 2000. Oh, old time awesome. All right. Here's a little video of my project. I have converted an old vintage radio in a docking station. It is 90% complete. I just need to fit some lights into the sides of the radio what? slash docking station. That's awesome. It is awesome. I bought an old GEC radio, which cost me um, five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that that's not pounds, is it? Anyway, euros, euros probably. I can't see it. That's um, euros. Yeah. Stripped the insides out. Put a small amp inside, which has a radio built into it. USB and remote control. I can attach any device with a 3.5 millimeter socket. The amp cost eight of whatever currency and the best. <laughs> and the rest funny of money. The, I just call it funny money. And the rest of the bits I had lying about. Um, I put some old speakers inside the old radio and then restored the wood. It has cost me around 15 to 20. Oh, that's US dollars. <laughs> um, it sounds great and looks, in my opinion, cool. Later, yes. later I might put a Raspberry Pi with a D DAC and some sort of screen a or DAC. LED. Yeah, a digital. Oh, okay. Pie. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, super awesome. Well done. I totally respect like the classic look combined with the modern stuff, but we have a little video of it, don't we? Yes, we do. Show it to me. All right. Listen to podcasts. In fact, I don't even really watch any TV for the most part. 
with exception for 24. That's <laughs> <laughs> us. Uh, but and, I, and Star Trek, which well, you've seen a million times. Yeah, I mean, it's not current TV I'm watching. Do you um, hear how cool we uh, sound? So podcasts are it for me. So I, if you want to talk to somebody who's addicted to podcasts, you are looking at them yep. right here. So That's awesome. Um, well, so uh, there's my awesome teaser. That's through today. his radio that he built. Uh, follow us on Instagram if you want to see teasers. I do like to see So what's funny is before I realized that was us, I thought that was, oh, that's him and his wife talking. Like I immediately <laughs> recognized that. Oh, that's a married couple talking back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that is, um, it, it's one of those projects where uh, it, it sort of scratches, like I love old time radio. I love the look of that kind of equipment, but I love what you're doing with it. I love how mm-hmm. you're taking modern day media and making it available through something that's so classic and timeless. Looking. Yeah. Well, and it's, it is really a beautiful piece. I don't know if that video did justice, but the, the finish is really nice. He, he chose, he chose a really nice Love it. One. I am super impressed. It makes me feel like such an underachiever. All right, Andrews, <laughs> our next award goes to... <laughs> While I'm sitting here running my own company. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I'm sorry. Okay, Denny Tech is one of our fellow podcasters. Fellow which podcaster. I didn't even realize. So um, what is my summer project, you ask, he says? Media mogul. Well, I actually have several, but the main thing I want to do is expand and grow my... Dra- and, and drastically improve my network tech case oh, productions. Oh, Great. I don't know if I said that right, but it sounds like it sounds tech, right. I like tech I ace. like Tech Ace. If um, it's not, he should take and run with it. Yeah, give it to him. Where I make shows about um, teach and other geeky related things, kind of like Jupiter Broadcasting, but a lot smaller. And it's at TechAce.tv. I have several things planned that I want to do over the summer to the network, such as be less shy about talking in front of the camera, mm. introduce a new show called Varlog Show, where I talk about tech news, which he has already started. I love Varlogs. I, I just love that as a show idea. Be That's more scary. consistent and deliver higher quality content. Start doing live streams since I have not yet been able to live stream. Do more gaming videos, hey, mainly up, in live streams. It's Wednesday, July 2nd, 2014. And let's talk about today's tech headlines. There you go. All right, so like yesterday... There Not a whole lot of stuff happened, so this is going to be a pretty... I won't interrupt. Go ahead, continue. Okay. Uh, let's see. Make some improvements to the site for mobile users. Drastically improve my setup so I don't have to keep dealing with so much technical difficulties. Mm. It never ends, by no, the way. it just, never... That's not going to happen. It will so. never end, <laughs> Good ever. luck with that. <laughs> and, and eventually, you just got to get to a point where you can hire somebody. And, really. And have a 20,000 limit credit card. <laughs> <laughs> um, blogs and so much more. So, and then he said, um, th- that is just the tip of the iceberg of what I want to do with the network and I'll always be continuously improving it as well. I really hope it grows. And if I'm lucky, I may even get to make some money from it and, um, make money doing what I really love. Very that lucky. would be awesome. You're very lucky. Of course, I'll reinvest it into the network and things like better hardware, equipment, editor, etc. If you make it this far, thanks for not laughing at me and shooting it down, which hello. No, I would wait. <laughs> yeah. That is like, we are the last people on earth that would laugh at you for this. No, yeah. Um, most people don't even understand what I do and immediately oh, shoot it down and say it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. I don't care what they say, though. I love doing it, and I'm going to keep doing it and continue to improve it. You know what was Amen. funny for me is, uh, speaking of people don't understand what I do, when we were moving into the Jupiter Broadcasting Studios, I was talking with contractors and furniture people and delivery people and all these different people, and they all would ask me, so what do you do for a living? Or what is actually what it was was because I was buying under the company's name. So what does Jupiter Broadcasting do? Mm-hmm. Well, so it, it's got broadcasting in the name. Yeah. So like I have to answer somehow, right? Mm-hmm. What do you say? It, it, the, when I'm a podcaster, oh, I'm oh, a podcaster. You know, so mm-hmm. what well, we do internet broadcast. Yeah. 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 My favorite is when a friend uh, texts me, hey, can we, meet, can we do a play date tomorrow? And I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm working. Oh, yeah. What do you do? <laughs> oh, I know. Where are you working? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? So, anyway, um, and that's a long time. <laughs> okay. Next award goes to? Next award goes to Dan. Dan gets the double awesome. Double, double awesome. Double awesome because he's doing a half marathon on September 28th. Ruspa act. Yep. I'm not sure where he's doing it, and uh, I meant to look up what a half marathon is. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I couldn't do it. It is really cool. Yeah, I definitely couldn't either. Couldn't I'm, do it. I'm more of a walker. Yeah, yeah, more of a walker. <laughs> All right, Andrews, next award goes to? All right, Fallen Zero gets the Overhaul Award. Overhaul. All right, project number one for uh, Fallen Zero. Finish his PF Sense firewall. Buy a domain, not sure where to buy it from. Purchase two digital ocean, ocean droplets. Boom. Set up one as an open VPN server and hook up my PF Sense firewall to it. And the other will be an email server. Set up his email backup with DNS made easy. Loving all of it. Project two, I, renovate my house. Wait, I got one recommendation. Okay. Not a sponsor. Hover.com. Two cows. All right, go on. Okay. Um, 
Project number two, renovate my house. Single family home, three bedroom, two bath, 1,200 square feet. Purchased the house a year ago for 89000 way below the market value of 110000 I will be updating the kitchen with custom cabin oh, cabinetry buddy. and extending it for more counter space, ripping up the nasty stained carpet in the oh, living room man. and hall and replacing it with tile. The bathrooms will also be tiled and shower extended to five feet long Ooh. and retiled. Um, it's a stand-up shower. Um, the three rooms will all get new carpet and new paint through the house. Wow, writing all that makes it seem like so much. It, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I am also building a deck off the back of the house and replacing the sliding glass door Jeez, as well as dude. new furniture throughout. Okay, listen. First of all, I am. if you get 50% of that done, be very proud of yourself. Yeah. Second of all... You should consider, I don't know if you have a Twitter account or a Google Plus page uh, or Facebook, but you should consider, <laughs> or Instagram, uh, posting pictures as you go along. A, because years from now, it will be extremely rewarding to go back and look at what you accomplished. And B, it'll motivate lazy guys like me to get off our butts and go out there and do some stuff around our own homes because yep. that's damn inspiring right there. Yep. Beware the house is pretty bad. I'm surprised I've lived in it like this for so long, but I <laughs> guess for a first house and money uh, for Reno, it's not that bad. I can send in after photos if interested. Mm. Yes. Yes. So here's the before. There's the upper upper right or no, upper left is the showing how bad the carpet is. And then the bottom left is the screen door that he's going to replace. The shower, which looks like it's only three feet wide, yeah. will be five feet wide instead. Yeah, it's a dungeon. And then he's going to replace the countertops in the kitchen. Um, his third project is to sell his dirt bike. I huh. imagine to fund the, <laughs> the At least overhaul. The paint of the overhaul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, so wow. there you go. Good work. That is, um, you know, that's some of the hardest work you can do, but it's the most rewarding work mm -hmm. you can do, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Andrews, our next award goes to Goat Herder. Right on. He has a big, tiny project. Love it already. Ta da! So, uh, Goat Herder has a son with autism, and he is building a tiny home. He's helping his son build it so that he has somewhere to go when he wants to be alone. And oh, that is really amazing. Yeah. So I want one of those, and I'm not even kidding. He like, says, hi, Angela, we continue to enjoy the faux show, our summer project. We're building a tiny house camper for my autistic adult son, a place for him to be by himself when he wants to get away from it all. Now, here's the thing. Um, it's I on actually, wheels, so it's, yes. it's portable. The reason why is because um, if, if you uh, have Netflix, you can go on there. There's a documentary called Tiny. And uh, the reason why it is on a trailer is because it avoids any building permit requirements. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, because in in some in most places you can't build a house smaller than 600 square feet. Yeah. But and then there's all sorts of other things, you know, like that different mandates and, like, and requirements. Just, so, if it's on wheels, it's considered mobile and not uh not a structure. Well, and I almost think the size of it, the mm -hmm. restraints of the size you have on a trailer would actually be a plus in mm -hmm. a way because oh, yeah. it's like it's it's like a safe area. Yep. Um, it yeah, sounds, like the, it doesn't sound amazing. Like, don't you want something like yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> it is really cool. It it's is very, it is such a cool idea. And I talked with, uh, Mr. Uh, Goat this morning and they actually watched that documentary last night. <laughs> McKay says that he would have loved that when he was younger. Uh, yeah. Somebody who needed to get away from it all. Somebody has Dude, some. right now, there's no reason to like no. wish that you had it then. Just go do it now. Yeah. People are actually living in these smaller spaces, not just using it as a getaway or like a, a temporary office. Or I do love that he managed to get shots with the goats. In I know. That's awesome. <laughs> I know. It is awesome. So um, uh, the website is right there. Astrobunny.com forward slash projects is where they're keeping uh, up to date pictures. And uh, there's actually more up to date pictures. I just didn't have a chance to update this morning. Astrobunny.com slash projects dot htm. Now, uh, in honor of their son. Mm -hmm. Jupiter Broadcasting has made a donation to the Autis Autism Society. There you go. That's I mean that was inspiring. Mm -hmm. So I, it's, that's awesome. So, there we uh, go. I love that project. Wow, I mm -hmm. really love that project. Yeah. All right, Andrews. Our next one. award goes to Count Zero. Count Zero gets the Bubbly Faux Show Award. This is epic. Okay. Here's my submission for the Faux Show Summer Side Project Awards. If you cast your mind back a few weeks ago to the podcast episode, I mentioned that my wife Beth and I often listen to the Faux Show reruns in the bath. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, I don't remember that, and that's hot. <laughs> thinking about this, it's fair to say that all the Jupiter Broadcasting shows, uh, of all the sh Jupiter Broadcasting shows, Faux Show is the one that really needs to be watched rather than just listened to. So okay. I decided I that agree. it would be really cool if we could actually watch it while we were in the bath. Oh, that's great. So this is how I did it. Let me show you the picture so that you guys don't get bored of all that text. 
Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah. So he put like a whole collage Describe together. Describe this for the audio listeners. So it's like a white gray marble. Beautiful. With it's a beautiful. flat screen. Uh, I think it's Insert, a monitor. Almost? Insert. Yeah. yeah. Inserted. and Like uh, a fireplace. You could almost see a fireplace, but instead of a boring yeah. fireplace making but, fire. And it, like, do you see the flute of water? Like a... a a glass and then the candles, like it's I mean, perfect. I don't mean to call them okay. out, but they're just sitting there naked in a beautiful hot tub watching the show right now. It's, <laughs> and it's not a hot tub, it's a bathtub. But, right. but and it's mirrors. Like a, oh, there's mirrors. Hey, Andrews, it's a hot tub. It, <laughs> all right, so uh, the wall of the bathroom has a hollow timber and cinder block frame, so I just opened it up and fitted an old 19-inch LCD TV into a custom-built housing with a plexiglass sheet over the front of it to make a waterproof window. Mm. This was thoroughly seal- sealed with silicone rubber and aluminum tape. This would prevent any water from getting into the monitor and damaging it, as well as ensuring that the whole thing com- uh, complied with the very strict UK electrical safety regulations. Once completed, the housing is fully IP54 compliant, at least from the bathroom side. One minor modification to the TV was to disconnect the built-in speakers and wire up a pair of ceiling-mounted ones, uh-huh. which vastly improved the sound quality, especially wow. since the TV is buried in the wall. I bet. Next, I connected it up to a Raspberry Pi running XBMC. This has remote control, so we can operate it from the bathroom with the controller placed um, into a sealable baggie to keep it dry. <laughs> okay. The whole setup is accessible from inside the back of a cupboard on the other side of the wall, just in case I need to do any maintenance on it, and also to give it a bit of ventilation you know we could do this in our bathroom but you'd have to sacrifice some of your under sink space but we could easily do this in our bathroom i don't i, don't, I mean it could just go right there like there's space for it it doesn't have to be built but in. as somebody who who enjoys herself a soak from time to time yeah how awesome does this not sound right yep to further improve electrical safety the whole setup is being powered via an insulation transformer and the master power switch is in the other room so we need to switch it on before running the bath okay. to finish it off I cut another sheet of plexiglass which I masked off and spray painted white um, on the back so that it only so that only the actual screen area is visible this not only adds yet another layer of waterproofing but also looks really cool and blends in nicely with the bathroom decor and the layer of paint is thin enough to not remove uh, or to not block the remote control signals. Um, so now we can watch Bo's show while sharing a bath and also have access to all the other XBMC add-ons as well as the media collection on our NAS box. Here's, here's all you need to know. Krabby Pup in the IRC says, man, this really makes me wish I wasn't renting. <laughs> <laughs> um, the whole thing took just over a week to complete and the hardest part was opening up the wall and installing the housing yeah. and then thoroughly testing it uh, with the shower hose to make sure it was waterproof. Note, this was not a really, or this was not a really complex product project, but it needed very careful safety considerations. Sure. I'm a qualified electrical engineer, mm. so I know exactly what I'm doing mm. with this sort of thing. Mm. If you are not, then please don't try it yourself. So Bring in they... somebody with the required expertise and make sure that everything stays in line with your local electrician regulations done properly. This kind of setup is perfectly safe, but please don't take risks. So they are in the UK? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they need to come make a. It's a shame, visit. Huh? They need to come make a visit over to Seattle for like a week. Come visit <laughs> us and install that in our bedroom. Yep. So that way, in our bedroom bathroom, we can do the same thing. <laughs> yep. I love that so much. Yeah. That so- is so cool to take something that is traditionally very high end. You guys, I mean, think about what he's just done. He has just put a LCD TV in his bathroom with in his in his tub, powered by a Raspberry Pi running XBMC. Yep. yep. Amazing. Epic. Amazing. Epic. Aster, Aster rather got here. Our next award goes to Skooky Sprite. I just went ahead with his uh, with his description. It's a nuclear nuclear disco apocalypse of mind bending fruit flavor. I'm sorry. Award. What? Yeah. <laughs> bring bring it. Well, <laughs> okay. So uh, he says, "Yo, Angela hers." <laughs> Ang- Angers no. sir laws. That's legit. That's legit. I know. How do you say that? Angela Zerla. Z- Les. <laughs> it's a me, Skooky Sprite. <laughs> it's a me. <laughs> uh, my little summer project is a nuclear disco apocalypse of mind bending fruit flavor. Number one, currently it is imprisoned on one of the most astonishing, astonishingly awful websites I have ever made. Laugh points plus one in the and you put your name on this. Wow, dimension. <laughs> he has so much personality. Number two, almost all of the content on said site, especially the stuff that's supposed to be related to the project, is quadruple doses of mega booze addled gibberish, what? which truthfully is not really my fault when working for other people, helping them articulate their own problems and True. building them out. I'm actually an excellent communicator. However, because this is my project and thus already exists in an almost uh, crystalline completeness in my head. Crystalline. 
the traffic from that interior world can only go into the sublime text or into the my feature outline slash roadmap should others wish uh, to, to work, work with on. me on it. Now, it's interesting <laughs> about the fact that it's crystalline is that means that nobody but Lore has the knowledge to destroy his idea. <laughs> N3 is truly a super badass project. Thus, I give you ARP, the Auto Radio Project. What? Yep. Go to SethFlynnBarkin.com. I'm sorry, what? What? Oh, I want to go there, but I, there's no way I could type that out. Okay, what is it? Uh, Seth. Seth. Okay. Seth, what? A dot? No, Seth, and then F is in Frank. L Y N N. This is ridiculous. B A R K A N dot com. Okay, let's see if we got no, there. Ah, uh, screw you it. You put an I in there. That's no, too crazy. Just I, take out the I. I can't do it, Ange. I can't do you, it. I can't do it, Ange. It's too much. He needs to get a bit.ly up in this business. Yeah. It's no good. It's no good. Okay. It's no good. Two N's and Flynn, and then you got it. Uh. Okay. If you want to sample some of my uh, proof of concept, which of course in no way demonstrates the casual observer uh, what makes it different from any number of other projects, but once it's in alpha, then they'll see slash hair. <laughs> There's generally a 90% chance that it is running at all times. Hmm. Chris is looking at it over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much only down when I'm logged into backtrack, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And finally, if you wish to hear my embarrassingly awful and utterly inept attempt at describing APR's secret sauce to prospective collabs and any interested end users, I recorded this at six in the morning after 20 hours of coding and a liter and a half of black velvet. Right on, buddy. <laughs> Imagine if an iOS presentation was delivered in this fashion. God, that would be hilarious. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, that's all I got to say right now. Site will still be ugly, but in the next three or four days, the project page will hopefully have an Actual non whiskey rant based content, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, look at our amazing logo. <laughs> I don't know. I'd stick with the whiskey. I like it. Yeah. That's good. Uh, the Auto Radio Project. There it is. Thank sweet. you, Skooky Sprite. Very nice. In Eric. the chat room. Very nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, he's in there right now rocking it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Eric points out Skooky Sprite is the one that made us the, uh, the Jupiter Broadcasting guest book, which, by the way, did you have that viewer sign it last week? When you went to Mexico? No, because we had Mexican. We didn't. Uh, you didn't come here? Well, we did, but Aww. at different times. Yeah. That sucks. That's too bad. That sucks. All right. The next award goes to Kai P. Fixing your computer. Fixing your computer. Your computer. Uh, it's not really a project per se, but I am in the beginning of starting up my own local PC repair slash tech services business. Ooh. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. I am currently attending a course exploring enterprise skills and getting advice about tax, legal, and financials, but should be developing my business plan in the next few weeks. Right on. With the hope of doing a six-month test trade in August. I plan on doing things like PC, laptop, tablet, mobile repair, hardware upgrades, custom builds, web development, SEO, social online presence improvements, um, selling devices such as iX Systems, FreeNAS, PF Sense Boxes, XBMC Media Devices, Dude, training support, advice, and consultancy, as well as- You got it dialed in. As well as all the other usual antivirus removal, data recovery, data backup, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully in about two years, we'll move to manage services for businesses. Uh, I'm still trying to decide on a business name, so any help is appreciated. See the last subreddit. He already has a thread going. P.S. I also plan on having a large display hooked up to an XBMC device and playing through my tech show podcast playlist. So Jupiter, Bros <laughs> so Jupiter Broadcasting will likely be played in shop on screen. I like that he says likely as if there's other podcasts <laughs> that are more technical than Jupiter Broadcasting shows. <laughs> well, there could be. I mean, <laughs> Maybe a few. <laughs> Not many, though. Okay. That's a great idea, and I think it's it got is. some good ideas. Yeah. Bundling up FreeNAS as a solution for, for small businesses, what that is is if you have the skill set to present yourself and bill and charge appropriately and do good customer service and then implement a FreeNAS solution, I call that that's just money waiting to be collected. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if I was still primarily making my money from contracting, I would be implementing these for like dentist offices where they have maybe four or five, six computers, but they need to have central storage for all of the records, right? Every kind of small business like that. You have a strip mall in your town, they all need some sort of solution like that. And FreeNAS, woo! Man, that's money just waiting to be collected. So good on you, sir. All right, mm -hmm. Andrews, our next award goes to Krabby Pup in the chat room. He gets the Nursing Alcohol Award. Now, what do you think that means? Well, it could be like me where I'm nursing two drinks at once during a show. I mean, it could be that. Yeah. Well, it's actually the opposite. It's oh. the inverse. It's he has an alcohol nursery. <laughs> oh, literally nursing alcohol. <laughs> yep. So, hey, Angela, my Nick won't be familiar because I'm not often watching the faux show live except today. What? 
represent in the lower third. Um, he said, I usually reserve them and other Jupiter Broadcasting shows for my hour and a half each way commute. But here's my summer project I started with my friend last week. It's an alcohol nursery. As indicated, we have an experimental smoked apple cider, a, oh. a mead to be finished aging in the first week of February, a peach apple cider, and a maple chocolate porter. Peach apple cider? What is up? Yep. Most of our equipment is 40 plus years old and given to me by my grandparents. A few weeks ago, we um, also bottled some mead that we started started late October of 2013. Awesome. awesome. And, um, oh, look, that was already on the previous slide. Awesome. Um, the towels and t-shirts are to keep everything in the dark since the yeast yes. doesn't really like light. Right. Really enjoy listening to the show. Keep up the good work. Love this. This is really, really one of those things that I wish if I had a little more free time, I would do. Mm -hmm. uh, because I think there's there's so much fun in, there's there's in, when you're making this kind of stuff, there's a space to be creative. Mm -hmm. There's a space to exercise your patience. There's a space for scientific research to like, like science. Yeah. Like you scratch so many itches when you work on a project like this. Yep. And the hurry up and wait. <laughs> yes. Peach cider. <laughs> Which you though. have to learn. Would you not want to try a little peach cider? Mm, I oh, don't think on. so. Come on. Angels. I don't think so. All right. Next award goes to techno gets the total handyman award. Good. That's seriously. That looked like something else from over here because I because your mic stands in the way it looked like Hyman I'm just gonna say. <laughs> all right this is techno you know how I was complaining I had so many projects it was cutting into my JB time yes I do um, I've gotten some of them done I included a link because it's quite a few pictures so far I've built a carport for my wife built a new set of stairs and started a new fence Inside, I've installed the NAS I bought and yes. duplicated our data. I still have to stain the stairs and the deck, rebuild the roof, possibly more of the uh, of the oil tank, um, move an electrical wire, and most likely rerun the wire. Then inside, I've got to set up BitTorrent Sync to automatically yes. back up my wife's computer yes. and pictures of my daughter. Love, JB, and all you do to make my life so much more fun and informed. Keep up the good work. Love how it's like, hey, here's how I'm building steps. By the way, my NAS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, awesome, yeah. right? So our audience, so yeah. awesome. Just in case you didn't think I was badass enough, here's right. my NAS. <laughs> Take a look at my NAS. All got right, so look at that, up on that bench. Look at that carport that he made. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, he is super handy. I could never build something Building like the that. fence, and that's the roof he's going to redo, and this is the electrical wire that he's working on. Yeah. Pretty cool. Good on you, sir. And getting the backups done. All right, it's time for Raku Dave's award, isn't it, Andrews? Raku Dave. I'm pretty sure Raku Dave is not a vegetarian, so hopefully <laughs> he wouldn't be offended by getting a Bacon Room award. Boom. Bacon Room award, Andrews. Lay it on me. Raku Dave is working on his kitchen. This summer, my dad and I will complete the renovation of the kitchen, attached to some impressions of how far we've come already. We tore out wielding a sledgehammer is way more satisfying than RM-RF. Mm, yes. Yep. The, well, hold on. The 30-year-old... No, it's like, A little bit. The 30-year-old old and ugly brown cupboards, yellow tiles, and linoleum uh. floor, and replaced everything with new and shiny white cupboards, translucent glass, oak, uh, oaken countertops, and stone floor tiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a huge upgrade. And because huge. my dad knows how to do this sort of stuff, <laughs> we basically only pay for the material. He's awesome. <laughs> now we just have to put the finishing touches on um, painting the sliding door, attach the wire things properly at um let's see add cover strips yeah that sort of thing sure we already had it functional again last year but ran out of time so i'll use a week of my summer holiday to help finish it up and get some afk time oh man so look at that there's Ange. the uh yeah so before and afters wow like see the uh, the i uh, that is beautiful yeah they went from like totally meh to gorgeous yeah look at the lighting too yep that yep. is amazing. It is awesome. That's, you would you would be if you paid somebody to come into your house and do that, you would be very happy with the results. Yep. You'd be happy you spent that money. So that's the bacon room. <laughs> that's where the bacon happens. Yep. Yeah. All right, Andrew's next award goes to Billy Big Rigger gets the Beast Truck Award. Check this out. Say I am running out of your tongue speaking You're yeah all out of words. there's a lot of words in this in this show yeah all right greetings from alberta here is my summer project i actually like to call it my money pit <laughs> i Let guess it's a vehicle what yeah. is it yeah i bought the parts during winter and started the rebuild um started to rebuild the engine in spring also okay. bought new tires and rims and also put a lift on it i'm not sure which order you're going to get the attachments but i'll try to do them in a timeline yeah i think i got it i think i got it right he said, uh, it wasn't done in, done in time for Linux Fest Northwest, but maybe next year. Hopefully you guys are going again. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy your summer. Love all the shows. I watch them all. Keep up the awesome work. So here's some more pictures of his engine and 
gosh, I have so much respect for people who can get into a car like that and it figure is it out. It's awesome. Yeah. I wish I could take like my ability to figure out computers and apply it to cars. Because <laughs> <laughs> the truck needs some work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, it does. That Very is an awesome. Work. Yep. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to. All right. CQ Jake gets the O. F. O. S. S. <laughs> award. My kids, two and three, decided we needed a summer project, so they accidentally or intentionally, we're, uh, we're not entirely sure, um, flooded the bathroom by plugging the toilet. Oh. We found the subfloor to be ruined and now get to replace it. Included is a picture of the current state of the bathroom. Oh. We weren't planning on it, but our summer project is now to update our entire bathroom since we we have to tear it apart already. Oh, my gosh. Right? Yeah. You know, my nightmare is um, our downstairs bathroom is a wood floor bathroom. Yeah. And I, my nightmare is something happens in that bathroom that ruins the wood floor because yeah. it's such nice wood floor. Well, we have extra planks in the I know, but garage, even like the mold and all of the... T- and it's toilet water too. I it's know, the worst. Right? I know. I know. <sighs> ah, boy, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Good luck. All right. Next award goes to... How do you say that? Um, I say Pigridile. No, nope, uh, it's Pigridal. I say Pigridal. Pig- Pigridal. Pigridal. Gets, Pigridal. Gets the Less Cloud Award. Oh, I like where this is going. Greetings from Spokane. I'll try to keep this short because I don't want it to sound like an advertisement. <laughs> well, if he's in Spokane, he should come over and hang out. I'm just saying. Yeah. This summer, I am working on my business. I joined the Young Entrepreneurs Program. Yep. <laughs> Which is an awesome uh, thing. Uh, with Nerium International, Nerium AD is a facial cream that helps reduce wrinkles and prevent emerging ones. For younger people, it shrinks pores, which helps in reducing acne. You can check out my website. Um, I have a link to it there, parkerg.thenerumlook.com. Wouldn't it be cool if those were somehow in the show notes, Andrews? Yeah. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? it it's not. No. <laughs> um, other things I plan on doing this summer is reduce the amount of cloud services I use by bringing more things into my LAN. Or, or digital ocean droplets. Plus, I've been invited to go cliff jumping with some friends. Hopefully, I do more, but those are the things I know of now. If y'all want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the username is uh, uh, Pigridal, which... Pigridal. Is, yeah. Um, can't, no, I am saying it right. I oh. just... Um, okay. Yeah, you just cannot get it. It's not phonetic. And Anyway, can't wait to hear what the rest of Jupiter Broadcasting is doing. Whoop, 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 whoop. What? That, good on you. And... Uh, uh, I like I like that he's in Spokane. I like that we have a good we have a good little yeah. establishment oh, of Washington folks. The too. website. Oh, there you go. That that's what he's making. Yep. Oh, that's what he's selling. Yes. Looks good. Yep. I'd I'd take that. Next There's award Murphy. goes to. There's Murphy. Murphy gets the Working Man Award. The Working Man Award. He got a job, but he was able to come today. At a boy, Murphy. He says this is the first summer where I've really had no projects to work on or that I can bring myself to work on. So pretty much when I'm not working now, uh, when I'm not working now my new job at a local grocery store i'm just hanging out and goof- goofing off with friends which ah. surprisingly and sadly i never did summers before social anxiety is really fun uh, <laughs> i'm glad i'm doing this be- uh doing i cannot talk anymore i'm glad i'm doing it this summer because it's been the best one yet which is awesome yeah you know uh, i remember too like uh, all of a sudden oh, hold, hold on a minute i'm working and then like the hours that i'm not working like i just want to relax during that time right and so that's where murphy's at right now and yep it looks like he's having a lot of fun i've been following him on instagram too mm-hmm, mm-hmm. seen him have a lot of fun yeah Top two pictures are of him bullying. Um, the middle was their single dude's movie night. The bottom left is uh, one of their sheets runs, where they, with the, which they do each Monday night. They um, had a uh, they had an unfiltered watch party like uh, two weeks ago, oh, where yeah. him and his friends were over watching unfiltered, mm-hmm, and they tweeted mm-hmm. me during the show. <laughs> yep, and then the bottom right is him working at the produce store or working produce at. Sell the with produce. Yep. Selling the produce. Very good. Awesome. Very good, Murphy. All right, Andrews. Our next award goes to Wooter. I think it's Wouter. Wouter. Disease tracking. This is really cool. What? Yeah. I hope you will forgive my poor English. I am not a native native speaker. Well, you know what? I can't talk it right now. So <laughs> She's all done words. It's actually fine. You did really good. All done words. So he said, you asked to send in summer projects, and I think my summer project is something different than what you would expect in the JB community. It absolutely is. What? This summer, I will help a friend of mine as a student assistant with his PhD research on the interactions between mammals and ticks in different forests here in the Netherlands, which is part of a larger project on Lyme's disease. Per per forest, we place 64 traps and collect the mice twice a day. Every mouse is individually marked. The ticks are collected to test for Lyme's disease. Finally, the mouse is weighed and then released. 
From the amount of mice we recapture, we can calculate the number of mice in the area. Last week was my first week, and we captured a lot of mice. After <laughs> four days of catching in two forest plots, we had a total of 232 marked mice. Oh. Hopefully, this will be a bit less for the coming weeks because there was not enough time left over for a proper night's sleep. But I think this project will be a great experience. Wow. What's really cool is before the faux show started, you were playing a cat thing where they were sticking transmitters or onto cats to yeah. figure out their movements and stuff. Right, so to track them on the GPS map. And our audience is doing something like that, but wow. with mice and uh, and ticks. So um, anyway, he said, I love all the shows and keep up the good work. Um, and he added a picture of a mouse. Um, you can see the marking on his right hind leg. That is where. Oh, really? Um, where they. Yeah. That's so, it. Yep. And the guy, look at that. So That's crazy. Yeah. Can you believe our audience is so awesome? And how tiny, also at the same time, like doesn't that just really bring home how tiny technology is getting? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Andrews, next award goes to... All right, Zane2200 gets K-O. the Custom Covers Award. Bring it. Um, hi, Angela, this is Zane12 here, and uh, is my summer project submission. Hey, Zane. I just repaired a PSP3001 that wasn't working and gave it a nice skin. Oh. Also repaired a DS light power switch and changed the shell on it. Oh, and that big black thing on the side of the DS is a protective shield for the new switch. Lastly, I'm making, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still making jets, and here's a video of one on YouTube. Thank you for doing a great show like the faux show. So um, so these are the custom covers that he's made. There's, You can see the back of it and the front, so it's the same image. How does he do that? Like, look how it's got the buttons. Like I he, know. He must have to cut out little spots. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, we on a previous uh, project award, mm-hmm. he had submitted his custom-made- Starships. Ships, yeah, yeah. Which is awesome. Which are very cool. All right, Andrews. Gosh, next award goes to- Odyssey Westra. Gets, Odyssey. Gets the Art Start Award. Another Spokanean. He said, yep. Hey, wait, isn't hay for horses? Albert here. <laughs> Which is funny because every time I see him write hay, because that's just what he does, H-A-Y, I always think that hay is for horses. So hi. it's really funny and, that and also he actually to, knows. Ange, hey, Ange. It's pronounced. It's pronounced hi. Oh, okay. He says, I have a few projects I'm working on for the summer. The top one is that I've been teaching myself how to use Blender, which is an, a popular open source for 3D artists and oh, animators. Oh, right on. Yeah. This is because I want to integrate 3D models I create into my illustrations, plus explain my portfolio. Also, I've grown tired of running SketchUp via Wine. Mm. Another thing I'm working on rebuilding is my portfolio website with WordPress on a digital op- ocean droplet. Boom. I bought a few weeks back with the last promo code, of course. Boom. Even though Godai's website builder is great for creating static pages, it is a pain to add new content to it. It's pretty incomplete right now with it having uh, with it having just past posts and not a proper theme to it. Stomach but punch. if you want to take a look at it, here's the IP address. No lies. That's actually... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I, I am a liar. I put a two instead of a three. Lastly, I'm working on getting my CDL license so I can be a team truck driver f- with my father for a few years. Plus, what a better way to travel around the States and possibly Canada with a DSL- D- oh my gosh. SLR camera and get paid for it. Plus, with the money, I could get a better tablet PC with like the Sony Vio Flip, Surface Pro, or a web, um, I'm sorry, or a Wacom companion so, if I'm adventurous. Two things. First of all, Albert, your site looks great. Yeah. Uh, second of all, if you're going to be traveling around the world, you could be like our on-location Linux reporter and send us so, in like Skype reports. So he says, think, Chris, who is going to drive your mobile studio when you decide to upgrade to a larger trailer? <laughs> um, I've had a few projects um, I'm working on, but these three are my top ones I'm working on. Sorry, I don't have any pictures of my projects. If you guys want any artwork, just let me know. Take care and long live Jupiter Broadcasting and the Faux Show! Boop, 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 boop. Well, Albert, uh, I'd love to hear from you when you're on the road. You should join Linux Unplugged. You know, we have that open mumble room on Tuesdays. You could just hang out with our virtual lug and tell us about your experiences Mm -hmm. and report any Linux sightings you see while you're on the room. Linux sightings. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. All right. All right, Andrews. Next award goes to? This is the final award. Oh, wait a minute. I recognize this guy. I know, right? Rika. Rika. He gets the live every day. Live every single day. day. Or live every day. We We let him live. Every day. (laughs) <laughs> so he says, hello guys, my project is a long-term project. I plan to stream on Twitch TV every single day for at least a year nonstop. Not nonstop, but like consecutively. Wow. If I can manage it and see how well I can do. Oddly enough, in my free time when I'm not doing work for Jupiter Broadcasting, editing <laughs> videos, or messing with the live stream, in my free time, I like to edit my LP videos and stream. I've streamed every day for, as of the day of today's recording, 15 days. 
Um, I think the last photo show project awards I submitted to, I had just started doing LPs, and that was my summer project submission. So this is phase two. Oh. Feel free to come check me out. I usually stream in the late evenings uh, Pacific time at Twitch TV forward slash for Kai LP. If you, if you follow, you'll receive an email notifications when I stream, or yeah. you can follow me on Twitter. Yeah, so for Kai uh, LP. Give out his uh, Twitch TV URL again because you can. There's Twitch has a built-in follow mechanism. Yeah, Twitch TV forward slash for Kai LP. It's R I K A I L P. There you go. Um, an update on my YouTube summer project uh, from last submission. I've got five times as many subscribers as I did last year, so he has 280-ish, <laughs> and he's starting a new series tomorrow. Um, on July 7th. So he said, my inspiration to try daily streaming is also um, one of the guys that inspired me to do LPing in general, which is CoStar, um, twitch.tv forward slash CoStar, C-O-E-S-T-A-R. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's it. So here is a screen grab of him live streaming. And what's cool about, one of the things that's neat about Rikai doing live streaming is he is experimenting with uh, a, an open source project called uh, Open Broadcaster. And it's sort of a way for him to become familiar and stay up to date on what Open Broadcaster is up to. And they're currently reworking a ton of stuff, right? So he can keep tracks of that. He can keep track of that and then be like, hey, Chris, this might be at a place where Jupiter Broadcasting could use it right now, mm -hmm. which is a neat kind of a side effect of him doing this. Yep. And then these are his followers on uh, Twitch. Very cool. There you go. And I happen to know as somebody who does a daily show, committing to actually doing a broadcast every single day, mm -hmm. that's a lot of work. All right. So I'm going to, don't go. I won't. I don't won't go show. go anywhere. I won't show. I could, can I show you my summer oh, project? Oh, I went to a different desktop. Can we ha Hold on. What are you trying to get to? Tell, tell me. I, I, can, I can solve the problem. There you go. There you go. I yeah. solved it. I solved it. Can I tell, what, you, about, can I tell you about my summer project? Yeah. Are you ready? My summer project, are you guys ready for this, is Tech Talk Today. I want to try to grow this show into something that's unique and something that's sort of uh, something that can live on for years and years and years. One of those shows that maybe I could do for the next 20 years even. Who knows? Maybe not because it's really crazy. And it's also something I want to help try to fund the network. So if you go over to patreon.com slash today, you can help become a Jupiter Broadcasting investor. We want to report to our audience. We want you guys to be the boss. We don't want to have to be responsible to sponsors. We don't want to be dependent on them. We want to diversify our funding sources. Patreon.com slash today. Become an investor in the Jupiter Broadcasting Network. Help us take our production up to the next level. Help us hire the staff we need and do the projects we want to do. Patreon.com slash today. Thanks, everybody, who helps support the Jupiter Broadcasting Network. Mm -hmm. All right, Andrews, what's next? Uh, so I just want to, don't don't go to my screen. Um, Little Guff submitted just a couple minutes before the show started. Is that a mail sack? Cause no. Okay, good. No, it's a submission. I wouldn't want to have to play a mail sack. No. Um, so part one, the, the Guff household will be looking forward to their second daughter, who will be born in the next two weeks. Hey, which is congratulations. Awesome. Plan number two, <laughs> working on getting a small extension to the house. In addition to the kitchen, the dining room, and the study, also the wife's happy we're finally getting a utility room. We're currently getting the drawings finalized. A utility room is so cool. Seriously. Um, especially if it's like a decent size. Uh, plan three, after 14 years working at this, uh, for the same company, they decided to give my role to outsource company in another European country. Been so there. shortly after our daughter arrives and the wife's home uh, and okay, I'm going to start working for myself as a contractor. Good man. That is awesome. Yeah. Good luck with that. That's that's actually exactly what happened uh, with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Exactly. Good. And it works out to be for the better in the long run. Yeah. And now we're doing this crazy stuff. Yep. So there you go. Yep, and I thought I would have a second uh, submission from no, somebody you, no, late in the chat room, but it, uh, no, it didn't come. No, if you come, did, so. then it would qualify for a mail sack graphic, which we did <laughs> not budget for this episode. So, you know okay, I mean. well, um, let me get back to the uh, slideshow here. All right, well, while you do that, I will mention you could be watching this episode of The Faux Show live, participating in our lower third by going to jblive.tv. We do it just a little bit after the Linux Action Show. So the Linux Action Show starts at 10 a.m. Pacific, and then we do that show. Then there's a faux intermission, and then the the real show starts. That's the oh, faux mission. show. And of course, you can go to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar to get that converted in your local time zone. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got, Andrews? All right, so we do this thing monthly now. The award <laughs> show? Yep, the award show. August 3rd is the next day. Do we ha Do we know? Do we know what the next award show is going to be? I do. Oh! How do you watch Jupiter Broadcasting? Love it. Show, Love it. Uh, show us where and how you watch Jupiter Broadcasting. Is it at your desk? Is it from the couch? Is it in the bathtub? Is it on your computer? Is, is it, it on, on your, your phone? phone, TV, computer? Send us a picture and or link, your is, IRC nick, and an explanation to... Is, is it audio? Is it video? Make sure you include that too. To? Mm -hmm. uh, to who do they send it to? 
Oh, Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. There it is. There we go. For I'm really 3rd. excited. I, I think really. Because I was, I was thinking maybe I should do the desk. Or, well, first I was thinking desk uh, screenshot. Then I was like, no. How well, about desk setup? Because that's gonna, always epic. And so then I was like, no. I was going to say, can I just say? Mm-hmm. Uh, what I would like to see is like if you're watching it somewhere where you can take a picture, please take a picture with your smartphone and just email it to Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. If you listen on your smartphone, do a screenshot. And email that to Angela Jupiter Broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. Right? Take a screenshot of your smartphone. Send that to us, like, of the podcast playing or something yep. like that. Yep, yep, uh, If you watch it on the side of a building using a giant projector, I really want to see that. would be that. cool. Yeah. Or, or, like, uh, <laughs> last week's uh, mail sack in Florida where they want to get a local restaurant that can... Yes. Yeah. That'd be cool, too. That would be really awesome. There you go, Angela. Man, that's so. a heck of a lot of folks. So don't forget, you can email Angela, Angela at Jupiter Broadcasting.com. You can follow her on Twitter. She is Angers on mm-hmm. Twitter with a Z. Mm-hmm. And uh, also on Google Plus, Angela Fisher. Yes. That's yeah. true. And the Faux Show is on Google Plus, too. Yep. yep. All right, Andrew, take us out. All right, that's it for this episode of the Faux Show. We will see you next week. Did you enjoy this Faux Show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. Captain's log, start at 2155173. Yes. We are awaiting the arrival of Ambassador Angela so that she can begin the show. Supposedly, Starfleet Command has sent her some encrypted documentation that she must relay to us so that we have the full context of our mission at hand. However, due to subspace interference from likely a son, that transmission has been interrupted. There's the transmission.